Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Proactivity 1000 PLC Remote P1-RX configuration. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the first thing we will do is actually take a look at our hardware that we have here. And you'll see that we have our Proactivity P1 550 C, uh, CPU, which has our remote I.O. unit. And we then have a input-output combination card beside that. It's powered up by a power supply here that uh, um, supplies power to this unit. Then we have our connector from a remote over to our P1-RX remote slave unit and the unit number has been set and we've powered this unit up so you must set this before you power up. Then we have our simulator input card, we have our um, output uh, card and we have a thermocouple input card. And then we have a power supply here powering up our remote uh, base unit. And we can have up to four of these base units connected to the P1550. So that is our configuration. Now what we'll do is actually configure it in our software. So the first thing we will do is we will uh, select or using the Proactivity software, we'll connect to the PLC. And this is done in the post uh, establishing communication, which you'll see a link in the description below. Now you must have version 3.10 or higher to use the P1-RX remote slave module. Now you select uh, choose CPU from the main menu to connect. So you can select it right here, choose CPU, or we can go CPU, choose CPU, and we have our CPU connections. You'll notice here that we have both the USB that we have connected right here, as well as our Ethernet connection here. So either one we can choose. In this case here, let's choose the USB. And you see that we're online. So let's do that again, just to show you. So right here, we're connected to USB. If we want to go back offline and choose CPU again, we'll choose this one. Now you can also double click, which I accidentally did, or you can actually hit the connect. And you know that we are connected because first of all, we show that we are in stop mode and we must be in stop mode in order to do our, our automatic configuration in our software. So this switch here, make sure that is down or in a stop mode position. So now we're all set and you can see here that we're connected through our USB and it's connected to a P1550 and we're in the stop mode. So next what we'll do is we will, um, we will select the hardware configuration. Now we can do this under the application tools right here or we can do setup hardware configuration. And when we do, we will see that we have a read system configuration that we can enter right here. If we are not online to the controller, this will be uh, blanked out, so we will not be able to select it. So once we select it, it will actually read our system configuration that we have here. And it's going out and it's looking at a remote IO and grabbing all those cards that are there and bringing that back in. There we go. So now what it's done is it's found differences between our online configuration and what's in our current project, which we know. So the as we add new modules or as, as it discovers these new modules, it'll ask you or prompt you to add these into our configuration. I, I will select yes to all. And that is our configuration now inside the controller and we can actually go to the remote base now double click on it and we can actually take a look at our remote base and what we can do with it and and some of the options that we have for it there's that we go to our simulator we can uh, remove the default tags or, or add default tags etc just like as we've done before in this series going back to the cpu we can look at our ethernet port and we can set our static IP address here if we'd like, or we can use a DHCP and have it have it done. 
So that is our configuration of our remote I.O. units. Very easily done with the Productivity Suite software. So once we've finished our hardware, now we can just save our project and, and we can go ahead and save it um, and that's it. Save it and, and that's it. Of our and then we can start our programming of video, our controller. Hit the like button below. So if you enjoyed this video, please the video, hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.